Got him. Yes. Hi there, I'm Joe Bartlett and thanks for watching Relive the Dream. Today's video is a pretty special hunt for antelope and sandhill cranes in Wyoming. It was guided by my dad and my brother at J Bars the Outfitters and it was put on by the Outdoor Dream Foundation. The Outdoor Dream Foundation is an organization that connects kids suffering from chronic or terminal illnesses with the outdoors. This young hunter named Allison wanted to come with her dad to hunt Wyoming for antelope and sandhill cranes. My name's David Gray. Um, I'm from Lander, Wyoming, and I guess today I'm the bird guy. There's a lot of birds, you know, you, you, I feel like I'm as prepared as we can be, but ultimately, you know, it's up to the cranes. Right. Well, I don't have to tell Allison to stay in her lane, because there's only one shooter. Who's calling the shot? You want me to? Or you want your dad to? She looks like a straight shooter. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't say that. How are you feeling about our spot? Did we pick a good spot? I think so. Well, well you're interviewing your camera. You're talking to your camera. I know, that's why I'm... <laughs> we got... See how I got you though? You're trapped. Now you can't get away from it now. We got cut corn. We got standing corn. We got alfalfa. Grass. Ditches. They've been using the heck out of this. Yep. Hurry up, Allison, you're going to be late for the school bus. <laughs> yeah, the bus is coming. Hurry up, Allison, the school bus. All right, get close in. You comfortable? All right. Let's crawl in. Let's have us crane hunt. <laughs> Definitely known for its antelope hunting, Wyoming also has some good opportunities to hunt sandhill cranes as well. And it took some work, but after trying a couple of different spots, Allison got her opportunity to squeeze the trigger. After a couple days of persistence, one morning stand finally proved to be the right place at the right time. We're coming from the house. Right there. Right, right in front, right. I think you can get it. Right over here. Wait a second, wait, wait, wait. Shoot. Got him! Yes! Yes! God, did yes. you hear that yes. thing hit the ground? That's awesome! I only took two shots. <laughs> did you hear that thing yes. hit the ground? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah! Grab that wing out. Here, let me get the other one. <laughs> Look at that thing. Look at that. His beak is like, can go down your throat. Oh yeah, he's got some pretty cool orange in his feathers too. Yeah. 
Can you come on? You gotta look at me. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Let me see if I can get up on his head. Oh, that is so cool. What do you think, Allison? Pretty happy? Did they land yeah. in that field? God bless. Was... Congratulations. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Super cool. With the crane checked off, it was time to chase antelope. At JBarZ Outfitters, we have some of the best areas in Wyoming, ranging from vast and open public land to many chunks of private agricultural land. And it didn't take long at all to find a large group of antelope with several shooter bucks in it. That's your first 300 yard animal, too. Mm -hmm. So, was he shot? 320. He broke, broke 300. Broke Not 300. just 300. Is that the new family record? Yeah, I mean, honestly. Heck yeah. I, mean, I really haven't shot ever. Not really, because she holds all the family records. So. <laughs> yeah, it's just another one, though. <laughs> it's a special thing to be able to take someone on an experience that they have never had Their before. And when it happens to be a young person that is facing adversity, the trips turn into something more than just a hunt. And that's what makes the Outdoor Dream Foundation so incredible. Got him! Yes! Very cool. We've been fortunate enough to work with them for two seasons in a row, and we look forward to more hunts and adventures with them and the kids that they bring on these adventures. <laughs> 